Hey Blabonitos, what's up? It's me, Missy, from Blabonit. In this video, I would like to look over some words that you probably don't know yet in English. This is a great way to improve your English vocabulary and make you sound more fluent in English when you speak. So let's get on to the lesson. Drawback. Drawback. The main drawback of buying that car is that it eats up too much gas. The main drawback of buying that car is that it eats up too much gas. Replenish. Replenish. They have come to replenish the water in those huge bottles. They have come to replenish the water in those huge bottles. Struck. Struck. The car struck the pole and then hit the building. The car struck the pole and then hit the building. Settle. Settle. They decided to settle their argument and move on. They decided to settle their argument and move on. Shaken up. Shaken up. Hector was really shaken up after he saw that. Hector was really shaken up after he saw that. Savor. Savor. I would like to savor every moment of this night so that I can remember it forever. I would like to savor every moment of this night so that I can remember it forever. Aftershocks. Aftershocks. Do you think there will be more aftershocks in Japan? Do you think there will be more aftershocks in Japan? Intuition. Intuition. A mother's intuition is usually right. A mother's intuition is usually right. Brace. Brace. Brace yourself. The car might stop suddenly. 
Brace yourself. The car might stop suddenly. On hand. On hand. Do you happen to have a mini screwdriver on hand so I can fix my glasses? Do you happen to have a mini screwdriver on hand so I can fix my glasses? Appease. Appease. He wanted to appease his boss so that he could get a raise. He wanted to appease his boss so that he could get a raise. Proven. Proven. You have proven how brave you are by going on that roller coaster. You have proven how brave you are by going on that roller coaster. Compelled. Compelled. He was compelled to tell the truth about what happened when he went to court. He was compelled to tell the truth about what happened when he went to court. Roll. Roll. Can you roll up the blanket and put it under the car seat? Can you roll up the blanket and put it under the car seat? Entitled. Entitled. Do you feel that teens nowadays feel entitled and have no sense of work ethic? Do you feel that teens nowadays feel entitled and have no sense of work ethic? Splashes. Splashes. The little boy hates it when water splashes in his eyes. The little boy hates it when water splashes in his eyes. Ironic. Ironic. It's so ironic that the police officer is being arrested. It's so ironic that the police officer is being arrested. Jargon. Jargon. It's hard to keep up with what you are saying because I don't understand 
all of the medical jargon. It's hard to keep up with what you are saying because I don't understand all of the medical jargon. Banging. Banging. Why are your neighbors always banging on the walls? Why are your neighbors always banging on the walls? Literally. Literally. You can literally just order food on the app and it will be here in 30 minutes or less. You can literally just order food on the app and it will be here in 30 minutes or less. Shook. Shook. I shook her to try to get her to wake up, but she wouldn't. I shook her to try to get her to wake up, but she wouldn't. Nuances. Nuances. Carl was paying close attention to all he was saying so he could capture all of the nuances of the story. Carl was paying close attention to all he was saying so he could capture all of the nuances of the story. Raised. Raised. She raised ducks and geese at the farm. She raised ducks and geese at the farm. Stark. Stark. There are stark differences. <clears throat> there are stark differences between what you are saying and what he is saying. There are stark differences between what you are saying and what he is saying. I hope that you are able to now take these words and add them to your English vocabulary and use them in English conversations. If you enjoyed this video, Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our great videos. Click on the little bell and you will receive a notification every time I upload a new video. If you enjoy learning like this, also check out our ebook. In our ebook, we ask you to commit to 90 days of learning English for just 10 minutes a day if you want to see your English improve. You can check out the ebook at this website. We also have two other channels that you can look at to learn even more English. Ingles Express and Ingles Parati.
I will leave the link to those two channels down below. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, you guys are amazing. I'll see you next time, Blabanitos. Ciao!